Hello everyone. In this series today, we have with us Narsema Dontaneni, another one of VIR's distinguished alumnus. Narsema, by qualification, is an engineer, and after completing his engineering, he took a very unconventional and I must say very courageous step of entering into politics. He contested for the municipal elections of Greater Hyderabad, and he was the youngest contestant for uh, the post of a corporator. So, beginning with that, Narsema, what made you choose? this path this unconventional path so uh, when i was 19 i was inspired by dr j prakash narayan so in a way uh, i was lucky that i was in hyderabad and he was also in hyderabad he was uh, from the local language from the telugu community i understood that uh, politics is one of the easiest way to change the lives of the people and the country systemic reform is the ultimate thing that can actually ensure that the future generations will reap the benefits of uh, whatever effort that we put in so i understood that through politics we can add a lot of value to the uh, community to the people around us so that is how i i started campaigning for uh, lok satta party and then later on uh, as i went ahead also when i saw a few successes in my own life through uh, the way through the path that i took i uh, that actually cemented my belief that this is a uh, one of the best ways and that suits me actually my personality so something about your experience so while you were contesting right and you were the youngest contestant i'm reiterating that because that is a very inspiring thing in itself so how was your journey like what was your experience during your campaigning times what were people around you saying all those things yeah uh, one small correction aman i was not the youngest contestant i was youngest contestant from, from my party there okay. were other youngest contestants but they were all uh, sons of politicians so you can say that oh. youngest contestant without political background youngest you can youngest independent contestant independent content, you can without say that without political leanings yeah. so uh, when i decided that i should contest one of the things that uh, few there were many problems few biggest hurdles were i had to choose a division first of all i was staying in cbit hostel cbit college hostel so i never had local base so it, within a month uh, it within a span of 2 months i had to create a base contest and i had to actually uh, generate funding for my campaign so uh, i actually could generate uh, funding of about 10 lakhs just within one and a half month oh, cool. there were people who donated to me even without knowing me just they saw my speeches on youtube and facebook and they donated through the loksata website uh, one of the first things uh, as as it happens with anyone any person who is entering politics my family said no so i said i did not give you an option this is my choice i already made it i am only telling you conveying the option but two days before the uh, campaign ended my father came because my, uh, one of the mla of our local mla where my, uh, my at my village he saw my campaign he called my father saying that your son is campaigning very good he has a winning chance so my father was like he was shocked so he was surprised so parents are generally worried about our future but when they know that we are succeeding in the path that we took they generally support you that risk that is always there so the other challenge that we faced within the party there are obvious challenges uh, about the regarding the age they talk about maturity they talk about how can you generate funding and i told them that i'll show you that i can uh, i can get a funding of more than what all all others could get and that that actually happened at the end of the campaign well, during the campaign one of the things that uh, again there were many problems people were saying that you are one of the best candidate you are the best candidate we want people like you educated people like you who talk sense who make sense who actually work for the community but it when, when it comes to voting the because of this first past the post system they are either choosing the second largest evil or the evil that they want to choose so since they want to defeat one party they will always choose the other party and when it comes to hyderabad there are two main factors one religion and the other region the ghmc were elections were fought totally on regional basis in the new city and religion basis in the old city and there was no scope for ideological battle okay. so that was one biggest challenge that i faced great and i would like to tell the viewers that uh, Narsema has a very fundamental understanding and ideas on electoral reforms in India as well. So Narsema was a part of Policy Boot Camp 2016 and uh, the entire delegation of 150 participants were highly impressed by his ideas and there was a lot of peer to peer learning as well that Narsema facilitated. 
right now nasima is pursuing his uh, management uh, diploma in management degree at uh, i am rotak and uh, i'd like to ask you nasima like through this very enriching journey right engineering politics policy boot camp i am rotak what role do you think we have played <coughs> so uh in 2016 when uh, lok sabha announced that it is we are not going to contest elections anymore we will work more as an organization for reforms in the larger reforms in the country so i did not know what to do because those reforms by saying that we work as an organization it only meant that there will be only four or five people who would be working and the rest had to choose another path or just stay by be a bystander so i did not want to be a bystander so uh, one of my friends suggested that why don't you uh, attend policy boot camp and see what are the options available in this space so when i came to policy boot camp i came in with an open mind i listened to everyone i talked to everyone with the peer learning and when i came back to i am rotak i i understood that i cannot move away from politics because uh, politics is such a thing for me as i can make reform to the society i can add value best through politics so in the meantime i was figuring out what else can i do so we actually proposed a pol- uh, policy club in the college and now uh, we are starting a campaign against the uh, uh, proposed amendments to prevention of corruption mm-hmm. act the section 17a section 8 uh, this uh, obviously there will be uh, every every politician will go through such a phase it's not that only very uh, i am going through it that where there will be some point of time where you don't know what to do it's only that you have to give some time uh, relax for a bit don't keep on uh, thinking about it just uh, wait for the right moment and then jump in that's what i am doing right now all right and uh, you would see your friends right your your friends from your childhood from your engineering days doing various kinds of things some would be working in multinational corporations some would be engaged in startups some would be working in more unconventional fields like you are doing So when you interact with them now and you consider your journey in hindsight do you have any regrets so uh, one thing i make sure is that i never compare myself with anyone so that that actually uh, may, uh, makes your regrets or it will compound your whatever you are thinking or whatever your uh, hardships you are facing so never compare yourself with anyone because you are, your career is your choice if you are enjoying your career there is nothing like that and the second part is most of my friends they are actually jealous of me because <laughs> because of the work that not only the work that i am doing they are not seeing the work but many of them see the recognition that i got or the influence i have in the society or the change i am making so when you are actually when you are succeeding in your life everyone turns up to you again they would also so in an act, in a way you can actually inspire more people to pursue their own interests so i think this is a responsibility and opportunity for me to help people follow their heart and see more meaning in life do you also do you also feel a sense of fulfillment in the kind of work you are doing uh, uh so far uh, as as far as i know no politician or a policy maker will have fulfillment in his life because he wants to do 100 things and only he could he will be able to do one or two things so in that way i need to do a lot of thing but uh when i uh, when i compare myself with yesterday uh, how i was yesterday how i was day before i am able to bring in uh, more change or influence more people or add more value so in that sense i am actually moving in the right direction and what next like you've been very unpredictable with your choices right okay again engineering okay politics mba from the one of the best colleges in the country right now okay. so what can we expect narsema to do next that that i leave it to the people if the people decide whatever people decide i'll be doing that this is a standard political response and other than we, that do we take that as a cue that you might be coming back on the political stage with a bigger bang this time uh, that we'll see as time goes we'll see okay i definitely sense some signals towards that but and finally so what would your message be to the budding youngsters of today who are graduating who are uh, the flag bearers of the new age india that we're looking at so this is uh, whatever i'm saying is uh, nothing new uh, most of uh, i heard this from many people and i implemented some of them and i uh, bore the fruits of it uh, from that from that uh, little experience what i would suggest is that take calculative risks 
don't regret regret later so what i would say if you know that you cannot handle your parents or family well or if you know that you will actually regret your decisions later don't go entirely with your own uh, opinion or interest take their opinion take their what they want you to do but uh, if you know that you you can be independent you can if not today you can convince your parents your relatives your family later or if you you will never regret the choice you make so then i think you should pursue your interest and uh, that is how you can add more value to yourself and to the society around you and that is how you can actually reach your potential so that is what i want to say one more question the same as so from coming from someone who's observed the political landscape especially the changing political landscape of the country very closely do you think uh, there is actually a fundamental change going on at the ground level which makes it more open for younger people to enter into politics or for people not coming from traditional political families so i would say uh, politics is a reflection of society so politics cannot be totally separated from the society as the society keeps changing the politics is also keeps changing so as the number of educated people is going up even in the rural areas when the educated come to politics and when people are actually when the media is very active it becomes difficult for politicians to stay away from the public so in that sense i can see a lot of change happening on the ground level so we should only uh, may uh, want a accelerated say, change this is not sufficient to wait where we want to go we want to, we want it to accelerate in some form definitely and wishing you all the best for a future and it's a pleasure to have nasima as one of our distinguished alumnus it's a moment of pride for us so we hope you carry on the good work and you achieve greater heights thank you we'll see you in the next edition thank you and thank you to vif for actually guiding me whenever i was in need uh, of uh, not only intellectual support but also emotional support uh, it feels good that there are people around you who think like you and who are in this policy space and yeah i hope we'll have a fruitful association going ahead thank you